Hello and welcome to a brand new Let's Play of the latest Dragon Ball related game, Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Been waiting for this for a while. It's a continuation of the Budokai Tenkaichi series from like 17 years ago. Um, I'm playing this on the early release, but I probably won't start uh, uh, sending out these episodes until after, you know the official release, which is three days from now. Um, I already played through the tutorial, so and did all the settings and all that, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, so, let's strike to it. I also uh, went through the menu settings here. Oh, hey, Dad. It's very interesting. Uh, as you transition between things, you, uh, you basically... Where do you? See various things. Oh, what is this? Beast's stamp book. I promise this what I had in mind isn't anything too taxing. Did I already unlock something? Edit. Oh, I edited the player card. That's right. You did it very well. I got a symbol, I guess? Or I got a dragon ball from that. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, anything else I can do? Well, I'm, we're going to play the story mode. Yes, thank you, Whis. Oh, and send those orders now. Obtain a Dragon Ball. I got a new title. Cool. Thank you, Zeno. You terrify me, you... Child that can destroy the universe with a thought. Uh, I also bought some characters. You were never one to sit still. Yo. Um, we'll, uh, we'll worry about that later. So I got the two star Dragon Ball already. See ya. Hi, Dende. So we're gonna jump into episode battle. Everybody's here. Let's take a peek. Shall we uh, I noticed the lip syncing is pretty good, at least from what I saw. So, uh, which is a rarity for these games. <coughs> okay, so we're gonna jump into episode battle for Goku. I'm probably gonna stick to the main story and uh, go back and do like what ifs later, because I know you can. Uh, you can change outcomes depending on decisions you make. I'll try and stick to the main story at first, and then we'll do the crazy stuff later. So, Goku. A warrior who is constantly in search of new, stronger opponents, taking down enemy after enemy in, with his unmatched strength and indomitable fighting spirit. After thwarting Piccolo's ambition of world domination, Goku returns to living a peaceful life. One day, a new arrival changes all that. Raditz, a man claiming to be Goku's older brother, arrives on Earth revealing that Goku is a Saiyan sent to rid the planet of humanity. He then proceeds to ask Goku to join him in that plan. However... Okay, let's do this thing! You should join us, Kakarot. Think of the battles you'll have. This is your Saiyan blood boiling with excitement from the pot. Uh, this, this is not Shut up. If you think I'd ever join you, then you're dumber than you look. Are you fighting? Fighting. I can't help but wonder. That child behind you. Is that your son? He, he's not. Yes, that boy indeed has Saiyan blood. It's no use trying to hide it from me. I can see his tail from here. So what have he done? You know, perhaps you need a little time to decide. I'll just follow your son for a while so you can think over my own. Take one step closer to Gohan and I'll knock you out! Back off! <laughs> So yeah, 
Controls are really responsive. Key blasts are fun. Get my ass kicked. Definitely getting my ass kicked. Let's try this meteor smash. I seem to have overexerted myself. Uh. I missed. supposed to win this fight so cool cool very fun fighting bro. if you want your little brat return safely Kakarot prove your Saiyan spirit eliminate 100 earthlings and pile them here before I return in one day and let me be very clear about this I come back and I don't see a hundred corpses. I killed the kid. Go on! All right, Goku is no match for Raditz's overwhelming strength. Amarita successfully kidnaps Gohan. However, he is then treated to an unexpected reunion. Piccolo? What are you doing here? I was pursuing him. And as much as I'd like to kill the wretch myself, the sad truth is I have a better shot at that if you were along for the ride. You mean team up with me? Why in the world would you ever do that? Don't get the wrong idea. This would just be a temporary alliance, only for the sake of eradicating that alien off my planet. Once that purpose has been served, I'll keep my promise to crush you. Then I can get back to my plans of world domination. Okay. So, work with Piccolo or go it alone? I will do what the anime originally did and work with Piccolo. Well, I need to borrow the Dragon Radar for a bit. Oh, of course. Because uh, Gohan had a Dragon Ball on his hat. You keep up with my flying Nimbus? You gotta be kidding! I'm a cut above the rest of you puny humans when it comes to flying. All right. Raditz locks the kidnapped Gohan inside his space pod. Goku aims to land a surprise attack, but Raditz detects him using his scouter. Now Goku must face Raditz head on. Oh, Kakarot! I thought you'd at least be smarter than this. 
but you have no idea how out of your league you are. Let's skip the pleasantries. We're here to take you down. Simple as that. I'm sorry, brother. I was thinking about my offer, and I've changed my mind. You'd probably just slow the rest of us down. And for betraying the Saiyan race, you will die! All right. Since you're going to be eradicated anyway, let me share a little something with you. The two Saiyans I mentioned earlier, they're even more powerful than me. <laughs> you could train yourself for a lifetime and never even come close to that level. But since you were too stupid to heed my warning, you're can not I going to survive get some hit him? Let's charge up. How about this? You've got a new special attack hidden up your sleeve. Now's the time to use it, Goku. <laughs> Sorry, nope. <laughs> Lazy fool. Meanwhile, I've been training non-stop to develop a sure kill technique. For real? Yeah. Only problem is it takes some time to charge up before I can use it. So I'm gonna need you to fight him alone until then, if you can handle it. Ah, uh, apparently I can't. Barely beat him, only because he hung back for a little while. Oh, proficiency with Piccolo went up, whatever that means. Say goodbye, Kakarot. What the? Power level 1307! What are my dad? Leave him alone! No, stop! Don't do it! Please, he's just a... Just a child? Is that what you were going to say, Kakarot? Don't worry, brother. You'll see your son again in the next world. What? You little... Piccolo! Your attack! Do it now! Are you insane? Maybe that's it. It's the only way to beat you. Sorry to keep you waiting. Are you ready? Do it! No! Stop! Special beam cannon! Yes. Gather all seven. Together they have the power to grant any wish. Even if it's bringing someone dead back to life. You can all go to hell. Still, I thank you for the information. <laughs> Everything that has happened here today has been transmitted to my two Saiyan comrades deep in outer space. When they've learned that I've been killed, they'll come to avenge me. The, the, the other two Saiyans... 
When? When will they arrive here? How long? One year. Just one short year. <laughs> Two of them? Even stronger than him? How sweet does that victory taste now? They're going to wipe you all out. They'll soon have you writhing in agony like the worms you are. <laughs> After Goku perishes in battle with Raditz, Kami arranges for him to train on King Kai's planet. And just as Raditz said, within a year the two Saiyans come to Earth. Finally, having completed his training on King Kai's planet, Goku is revived by the Dragon Balls and returns once more to the battlefield. Yamcha dies. Unable to escape, Yamcha dies in an explosion induced by a self-destructing weapon the, Cyber, uh, the Saiyans have made. One by one, the other warriors follow the hands of the terrifying, powerful Saiyans. Just when all hope seems to be lost, Goku arrives on the scene. <laughs> How's it feel, seeing your little friend's corpses scattered all over? There was another one! There's probably not a scrap of him left. Piccolo's gone. What, you gonna throw a fifth small fry? Go right ahead. <laughs> that stupid look on your face just makes me want to kill you faster. I'll pay for this! You'll go who'll pay! All right. Out of my way. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! What? 9,000? That scouter's a piece of junk. It's gotta be a mistake. Doesn't matter. A little punk like me can't do anything against the mighty Nappa.
Okay, gun. I'm not sure what proficiency means, but okay. Shiva becomes uh, enraged as he watches Nappa be beaten by a pulp by Goku. Never to control his wrath, he murders his comrade. Sensing the immense danger looming, Goku tells Gohan and Krillin to return to Kame House immediately. Then, as Krillin requested, he moves the battle to another location. Let's finish this someplace else! Fine by me makes no difference. Uh, Goku selects a location devoid of human or animal life to challenge Vegeta to a one-on-one -on -one battle. Okay, this spot should do. From what I can tell, there's no people or animals nearby. Interesting. Of all the places on your planet, you chose this as your gravesite. <laughs> you should feel lucky. Not every low-class warrior gets the chance to spar with a super elite like myself. Not long after Saiyans are born, their skills as a soldier are tested. The scum who scores a rank the lowest are sent to the outer world, where the opponents are weak, much like you were, Kakarot. In other words, you were cast out like a dog. Yes, and as a result, I was lucky enough to come here to Earth. I'm grateful for that. Besides, even a lower class outcast can surpass an elite if he puts his mind to it. <laughs> That's a nice attempt at a joke. Now let me show you a wall that you will never have the ability to scale through effort alone. All right, bring it on, Vegeta. Ah. Distance, charge the key. He's kicking my butt. Let's fight. No, I'm gonna lose this fight. All right, we try. Man, this 
This is intense. I think I'm on normal mode too. Or am I supposed to lose this fight? No, I'm not supposed to lose this fight. Hoku falls to Vegeta's attack with no remaining of the Earth defeated. Plan to come under Vegeta's tyrannical control. Right, we'll, we'll try that one. Jesus Christ. Oh, can't give him time to charge. Man, I'm getting my butt kicked. Just gotta be better, I guess. Hey. No, 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 no lowering the difficulty. I just gotta be better. Damn it! I came a lot closer this time. 
We're not lowering the difficulty, though. Yes, yes, yes. Ah! I mean, this is really... really what it is like fighting Vegeta at this stage. He is stronger than Goku at this point. You know, only by using the Kaioken. Maybe that's my problem, I'm not using that enough. I'm not talking much, this is taking 110% of my concentration. There we go. Jeez. Look at proficiency up. An alpha battle, but summoning it at his last self to strength, Goku manages to counter Vegeta's attack. Though Vegeta was hit, Goku can sense a, tra trans sense a trace of his key remaining. Yajirobe emerges from hiding place, but Goku instructs him to flee. Surely enough, sure enough, Vegeta raises once more, ready to challenge Goku again. Goku believes his only chance of victory is to use a spirit bomb. However, Vegeta's secret technique, known only to the Saiyans, up his sleeves. Burst open and mix! Huh? What was that? What are you planning? You really should have never gotten rid of your tail, Kakarot. But now you'll learn firsthand what a Saiyan is really capable of. Did you feel that? There's a tremendous energy and it's swelling up even bigger! I don't think it's my dad's energy you're sensing, is it? It's wrong! I'm going back there! Go on, hold on! I'm going too! Wait! <laughs> don't blink, Jackarot! These will be your final moments before I crush you! I really hope I don't have to fight him Am like I this. In my mind? He turned into a giant monkey! This is crazy! How do I fight this thing? Oh. Since when were we dealing with a hundred foot tall monster? No other options left. Goku decided to use his techniques. King Kai taught him. Only choice now is to gather energy from all over the earth and make a spirit bomb. Okay. No. After all this time, I get it. The monster killed Grandpa, 
and the one who destroyed the tournament arena. All, all of that was... was me? I owe this to you. I need to beat this guy. No matter what... Jesus. I think my only chance is to... For the tiniest chance of victory. If I die, I'll see you in the next world. At least I'll get to apologize to you. I have to, uh, I have to... Oh, you? Yeah, I'm not even damaging him. Oh, uh... Can this damage him? No, not even that damages him. My only hope now is to get away from him. I think I have enough for the uh, spirit bow. The question is, can I get away from him long enough to use it? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Up, 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 up. Wait, no, I, I still don't have enough for the spirit bomb. No, apparently. Four was not enough. Uh huh. So I have to. After all this time, that's just bouncing off him. And the one who destroyed the tournament arena. All of that was. Was me? I owe this to you, Grimms. I need to beat this guy. No matter what. I'll have to eat every ounce of my energy for the tiniest chance of victory. If I die, I'll see you in the next world. At least I'll get to apologize to you. Yeah, I have no chance without the spirit bomb. That's what I did in the, uh... That's what he did in the show, he used the solar flare. Oh, but I, that uses those things. Even fully charged, that's all that does. Why wasn't it charging like it's supposed to? That's weird. Okay. So this fight's not going to be easy. Any more than the last one. It sucks when you can't damage the uh, opponent. No. After all this time, I get it. The monster that killed Grandpa. And the one that destroyed the tournament arena. Oh, I'm stuck. All of that was... Was me? I owe this to you, Grimms. I need to beat this guy. No matter what. I'll have to eat every ounce of my energy for the tiniest chance at victory. Body, baby, now. If I die, I'll see you in the next one. At least I'll get to apologize to you.
Maybe I'm supposed to solar flare. I didn't see. Okay. I found me. And all I can do is run. Oh, that curved. That's not fair. Oh. Dang it. What was that four? That might have been enough. No, it might have to be five. I'm going to keep trying now. Not lowering the difficulty. Stop using this one. I'll have to use every ounce of my energy for the tiniest chance of victory. If I die, I'll see you in the next one. At least I'll get to apologize to you. Dodge that? I didn't think such a big person could dodge so easily. Well, sometimes it curves. Alright, five has to be enough. Stop using this one. Five. I can just just get far enough away. Ah! Uh, I'm at six. That's my max. Ah! Uh, I almost had it. All right. I need to get up to like four, and then like solar flare him and then find a place to hide while I charge up to five. That's pretty much what he did in the show. Yeah. <laughs> 
Curves. Now this isn't gonna be the one. I hope that didn't work for some reason. I didn't mean to get that close to him! Do I have to be up to six? I don't know what to do here. If I pause it, it will tell me what I'm supposed to do. Oh good, my proficiency went up. That's nice. I thought maybe I had to solar flare him and then... I don't know. Yes, yes, you're, you're very funny. You're a very funny man. Am I actually supposed to beat him without the solar flare? Does it tell me? Defeat Vegeta. No, it just says defeat v v v Vegeta. Come on, I'm faster. Why am I so slow? I actually have to beat him like this. That's a missed opportunity in my book. Now that I know I have to actually beat him without the solar flare, 
which doesn't make sense because that's how they did it in the show. It was supposed to be emulating the show. And I tried it, and they don't even give me the option for the solar for the uh, for the uh, spirit bomb, which is kind of stupid. He was using the Gallic gun. Ow. After all this time, I get it. The monster killed Kramer, and the one that destroyed the tournament arena. All, all of that was was me. I owe this to you, friends. I need to beat this guy, no matter what. I have every ounce of my energy for the tiniest chance of victory. If I die, I'll see you in the next one. At least I'll get to apologize to you. At least he's easy to dodge if I know how to. Ah, unless he grabs me. And does that. Oh, here we go. Nice. That did a lot of damage. Oh, I did it. Beam struggle did a lot of damage. Oh, now I'm gonna use the spirit bomb. Ten seconds. Come on, give me just ten lousy seconds to concentrate. That was frustrating. I really thought they wanted me to use the spirit bomb. I guess that was my fault for not even trying to defeat him without it. Yeah, see, that's what he does in the show. The solar flare. By the time he needs, Goku uses solar fur on the great ape before him. Goku then makes a run for it, getting as far away as he can. Okay, I think I put enough distance between us. He gathers a little key from all living creatures on Earth to fire one final shot in the hope of turning things around. Right 
Alright, so we're going to speed through the end there, aren't we? Yajurubi, who is waiting for the right moment to attack, leaps out and slices off the great ape Vegeta's tail. Vegeta returns to his regular form, however, Goku remains incapacitated. Neither Krillin or Gohan stand a chance against even a weakened Vegeta. Calling Krillin to his side, Goku entrusts him with the spirit bomb. All that's left is to wait for an opening to use it. <laughs> this is it! This must be the spirit bomb! It's all up to you now! What the hell are you doing just standing there? You gonna throw the dead thing or what? <gasps> no choice now! Hey, Ezreal almost completely messes this up. And then he turns into a giant monkey, and then he beats up Vegeta. The end, apparently. Skip it over the part where Vegeta almost kills them all with a final attack. Vegeta survives the spirit bomb, caught by the light of Vegeta's small false moon. Gohan transforms into a great ape and proceeds to corner him. Krillin is just about to finish Vegeta off once and for all when Goku stops him, telling him to let him go. Having narrowly escaped death, Vegeta departs Earth. Now aware of the existence of planet Namek, Krillin, Gohan, and Bulma believe it may hold a new set of Dragon Balls. As Goku needs more time to recuperate, the three set off to the planet Namek without him. Okay. Jita Saga Saiyan Art Photo Collection at 60,000 zenny. Uh, that's... Why is this, uh... Okay. Alright. So, we're gonna call it here. I'm gonna quickly, uh, spend that zenny that I just got. Uh, to buy a new character or two. It was one I wanted to, was saving up for. Uh... Yo! How go? This is starting up, old man. Let's see. Wanna blow up some steam with a little shot, eh? I wanted to buy. I wanted to buy frost. I get it. You just want it all, don't you? Okay. So we're gonna call it here. Till next time, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a like. Share, comment, subscribe, it always helps me out. And as always, have a good day and take care.